Long before the disaster at Fukushima Daiichi, nuclear engineers were working on solutions to problems like the ones that contributed to the accident in Japan. Some of these improvements are included in the designs of the latest generation of reactors. So far, American utilities are building only one kind of new reactor, the AP-1000, designed by Toshiba's Westinghouse unit. It's been chosen by two utilities, Southern Company and the Scana Corporation, for projects in Georgia and South Carolina. It's also being used at two sites in China. The AP-1000 uses something called passive safety systems that employ natural forces like gravity and convection to keep reactors stable in an emergency. This means less operator intervention is required. For example, large reservoirs of water are stored above the reactor and gravity pulls the water down to the reactor core if needed. Existing reactors rely more heavily on electrically driven pumps and valves to maintain proper fluid levels and temperature settings. So if reactors lose grid electricity, they begin running out of coolant in a few days and can overheat and even melt down. And if other backup systems don't kick in, the crisis can escalate. That's what happened at Fukushima. The new reactors can also be built in modular fashion, using factory assembly line techniques. This improves safety because it means reactors have fewer quirks. An operator trained to work in the control room of one AP-1000 should be able to step into the control room of another and know what's going on. But safety experts still worry that even the new reactors won't be able to withstand extreme events like enormous earthquakes or tsunamis. Scientists say future generations of nuclear plants may be built underground and designed so that if there were a serious problem, they would wind down. As one scientist told us, operators would simply walk away. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Rebecca Smith in San Francisco.